Welcome back. It's TVU's Most Wanted and the XV Tour. Swang, swang through, swung through. What's the what's the appropriate word there? Swang, swung, swing. Dropped by. <laughs> they dropped by. And uh, actually, we have I Am Empire coming up next. And the last time you guys were here, I Am Empire was with you. I Am Empire. And since then, you have grown a lot as an artist, as a musician. <laughs> As a man with brilliant facial hair, where did that come 10, from? Ten thousand times ten thousand. Well, you know, it just we uh, were we were at home for a, for a long time. Okay, and you know, some things just happen. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> just didn't feel like shaving. Cats meow, dogs bark, <laughs> and uh... so this all started. You said after the tour with I'm Empire and Highland, you just you know decided not to shave. And we, David said, "Wait at Jericho till your beards grow back." and then come up to Jerusalem. 10,000! Okay, so 10,000. I was told to ask you about that because Write This Down said they- Who told you to ask you that? that write This Down. Okay. The guys from Write This Down, they were like, find out where that came from. And I actually checked on your Twitter today and it was all over the place. And I was like, what is hashtag 10,000? What 10 is that? 10 big ones, 10 big ones. And I looked it up and you guys and some other people were tweeting about it and I don't know what it is. So, can you explain? That just means like, cool. That was a way easier explanation than I thought. You betster. All right, so 10 big ones. 10 big ones. 10 Gs. <laughs> so how has the tour been so far it's for you guys? It's been fun times, yep. Yeah. Uh, we've been doing some shows with Project 86,000 and uh, right this downtown. And <laughs> some boys from Florida uh, called Day of Vengeance. Yeah. And um, I just love being on tour, you know. And it's... lots of cornhole, apparently. Yeah. Actually, today is my... You haven't really got in on that. Today was the you first guys, time for me. You haven't played yet? Today really? I did, for a sec. Wow. Wait, you guys are from the Midwest. You've never played cornhole, ever. Didn't Grandpa have one of those in our basement? I think our grandfather maybe had one. So maybe we did play it when we were a kid. <laughs> All right, well. It who, wasn't called that, do you know, though. <laughs> who, uh, bean bags. You know, bean bag toss. Bean, bean bags. Okay, bags. I've heard that. So who are you guys going to be playing first? Do you know? Well, we were a little slow on We... <laughs> we, we didn't get so signed up. So not even playing in the tournament. It's like, We didn't get signed it. up. We, whatever. If somebody had here. asked me, we were going to be Team Jessica, but Team, team didn't, Jessica. Nobody asked, so I, I just didn't say anything. I love it. Children 18.3 is hanging out on TVU's Most Wanted. Uh, talking about Cornhole. Talking about your amazing beard. So good. Thank you. I'm really in love with it. Um, so what's Children 18.3 got coming up? You guys are on this tour for a few more weeks, yeah? Uh, we're on this tour for, I don't know, a week, week or two. And then uh, we've got festivals this summer, Cornerstone Festival, Sunshine Festival, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. <laughs> Um, what's what's one of you guys' favorite festivals to play? Oh, Which Sunshine one Festival in Minnesota yeah. is, home, you know, home, it's home state. It's a good one, and yeah, you used to. I feel like when we were younger, you used to need to go to Cornerstone Festival to see all the good bands. Okay, but Sunshine's really been stepping it up the last few That's years. That's what I've noticed. They, yeah, I feel like maybe we should take a trip to Sunshine. Actually, a lot of our viewers are like, man, you guys come up to Sunshine. What do you guys think? Would you show us like around and videotape? Would you some, show us around? You think do some shows or something? That'd be yeah. cool. All right. Well, maybe we need to plan that then. Ten. <laughs> it gets me every time. Seriously, where did you come up with that? I want to know. You want to know? Let me think for a sec if the story is appropriate. It's it's appropriate. I guarantee. Well, <laughs> we we were hanging out with Andrew Schwab and his wife in California. Okay. And there was I'm not sure how it came up, but she made some reference. In their living room. We were sleeping in their living room. And she made, yeah, I think because she made some reference to Mr. Steele's The Covers 2000. <laughs> as to about, apparently Schwab is a covers hog. <laughs> um, that's amazing. And it doesn't really have anything to do with 10,000, but that's where it came from. That's where it came from. <laughs> you know what? I really like that explanation, actually. And I feel like I should talk to Andrew about that now. You talk to Andrew about that. And if he doesn't want that story told, then you just sort of... I'll just say I heard about that it out. I won't. I just won't tell him I found it out from you. <laughs> So uh, if people want to follow along, find out which festivals you're going to be at, where you're going to be, what's the best place to do that? Twitter, Facebook? Facebook 10,000. Facebook 10,000. <laughs> All right. So if you want the link, tvulive.com has it. I'm sorry you guys don't get to play in the Cornhole Tournament today. I mean, we're slow on the draw on that one. Yeah. Reap what you sow. Bummer.